now playing the spoons. <laughs> oh, no. Well, well I'm sorry. everybody, you all have to entertain today, and then we're going to play some games in a little while. Because we're having a plasticware party. And we'll be at your house in just a few minutes to take your orders, because if we get enough, we'll win a, a free new <laughs> mix master. <Yay! laughs> we actually did, you and I, actually did throw one of those plasticware plastic parties, parties a couple of years ago. And everybody got right lively during the they evening did. and bought tons of stuff that they regretted the next right. day. They did? <laughs> People were trying to cancel their but orders. But we didn't. We won a lot of nice stuff. We made them take every bit of it, and we won a lot of stuff. Yeah. That trip around the world I right. got. I know. And then, you know, I got, but anyway. you know, I got to spend two months down in uh, the Falkland Islands. <laughs> During the uh, altercation. Because we were the regional winners. That's right. We, we didn't so get to go right. to some of the big places. I have uh, <clears throat> Galliano stuck all over me. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it a great deal. I had them pour it all over me before <laughs> we went on the air. It's well, wonderful. it's better than that other, that blue waltz you usually wear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. The one that draws flies. Uh -huh. I'm going to do something right unusual today. Well, what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a Harvey Wallbanger cake. All right. <laughs> Harvey oh, Wallbanger cake. And I'm doing old-fashioned peanut brittle that was sent in by Anonymous. Now, you know, we talked some time ago, about a year or so ago, we did a black walnut brittle. And a lady wrote in, and I mentioned it on the air, that, that isn't there some kind of recipe. Oh, oh, you know, they were signifying. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, okay, over here. Hi. <laughs> One of your tally lights is out. But in any event, but the uh, other six are working. Right. So, um, this uh, she wanted to know if there was anything like a peanut brittle that didn't have cream or tartar or something like that in it. And I mentioned it, and somebody sent us an old-fashioned peanut brittle recipe uh, that only has peanuts and sugar and just a, a tablespoon of butter in it. So that's what I'm going to start doing right now. Let me tell you what I'm going to do because it'll probably take a long time and Larry's a, got a complicated, yeah. Well, you can, can tell I it. tell a quick story about the last time you did peanut brittle on uh -huh. one of our, our famous, Laban and I go out and cook in public for money. Any of you interested in that, we, you know, we're, we're available. And uh, we were in a depart, a major department store that shall remain <laughs> unnamed at this time. And he did his famous, you were doing peanut brittle or some kind of brittle yeah. at the time. And he had it on a great big, great big platter, cooling it. And he was showing all these people how to, to get it off, but it wouldn't come off. And he hit the back of it, and they're still getting peanut brittle out from under their television department. I've never <laughs> seen, do you remember that? That stuff went wonderful. everywhere. It did. 700 ways to Dixie it went. They're still cleaning up at that store. It was amazing. It was wonderful. Now, let me tell you, this is real easy to do when you start out. So let me tell you what to do. Take a small 7 and a quarter ounce, one of those regular little small size cans of uh, peanuts, salted peanuts. And you're going to put them in one tablespoon of margarine, which is what I use, and stir them around so they can heat up o over low heat. Now, in this frying pan, which is going to be turned on initially real high and then down to kind of a medium heat, I'm going to put, get over it, two and a third cups of sugar in the pan. Nothing else, just Laban. the sugar. Laban. The staff here at the station would like to present you. This is a lovely oh. candle holder for being well, on I the show much too long. Well, I think we could use this as a floral tribute for <laughs> some of the ceremonies that you perform at your house. I, I, I know all about them. Everybody else in town does, uh, too. Uh -huh. That one where you bring in the, uh, the goat and the... <laughs> <laughs> I'll swear. Do we have to talk about uh -huh. that on television? Yeah. All right, two and a third cups of sugar. You just put it in like that, and believe it or not, boys and girls, it will melt. I can just feel the old cholesterol level going up. Well, on there's no cholesterol in, in this. sugar. No, there isn't any in sugar. No, I can not just sugar. feel the old calorie count going now up. Now that's better. And that's all you have to put in this recipe. That's it. It's all sugar. Well, that's how it. easy that is. Well, to make. we'll see if it works. Now uh -huh. we got to caramelize this sugar. Uh oh. Well, I don't even need that. Well, I'll have it. Anyway. Well, I'll put it back there. It doesn't cost any extra. And now it doesn't have to be back till six. Now I'm going to turn this heat down to to medium, and let the sugar start cooking. You're going to cook the sugar yeah, dry. It, yeah, it doesn't have to have any water in it. It'll melt. Did you know you could cook sugar dry? Sure. I've never heard of that. We have someone in the audience. Did you know you could cook sugar dry? 
She doesn't know. Everyone's shaking their heads. Well, nose. a bunch of ignets around here. Laban, we're all kind of worried about this. Well, Are you sure this is a legitimate recipe? Well, this is what Anonymous said. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. Bly, take it away. Oh, I wouldn't want to miss your sugar burning for anything in the world. If I, if I see anything happening, we'll go back to Yeah, that. I'll do three courses of Baby I'm Burning by Dolly Parton. <laughs> Out I'm going to make a Harvey Wallbanger cake, and you start out with a package of yellow cake mix. I always I beg your pardon. I'm always a little suspicious of from scratch cakes that start out with with already ready-made cake mix. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. Yellow cake mix, and we're going to put in our fine old elderly. This is how old you old reckon this is? Old yellow. How old you reckon this what? mixer is? Well, is let's see. Mary we Helvey gave it to us, and she's about. <laughs> Don't say. Don't well, say. she taught God in the third she, grade. <laughs> <laughs> one teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon. Which one's that? Teaspoon. That one. I don't know why you have to add baking powder to something that's already got probably some well, in it. Well, you're going to put all that heavy stuff well, in we it. Well, we are. It needs a lot of extra. And a package of instant vanilla pudding. That's some of that. This is this I'll is gonna. I swear, this is the best flavored orange juice. Where did you? What <laughs> store did you get this? This at? is gonna set that guy, freshly squoze. That guy up in New York is gonna set him off. Now, in addition to saying that all I know how to do is open cans, he'll he'll add and and packages. Cause this sure does require an awful lot of package opening. That's a whole thing of instant vanilla pudding goes in there. And you know, they say the proof is in the pudding. Mm -hmm. Whoops. I don't know what that means, but anyway, well, four eggs. How's it coming, Johnson? Well, fine, except I accidentally threw two peanuts over into it. Yeah, it looks like that stuff's melting down real good. Well, mm -hmm. oh ye of little faith. Mm -hmm. Just possess your soul in patience. <laughs> four eggs. Look at that, folks, a startling close-up of the non-melting sugar. I'm going to put four <laughs> eggs in here. <laughs> Our staff has the giggles. <clears throat> and a couple of other things, but we won't mention that. Yeah, there's Betty there. and Maureen, too, <laughs> in addition to giggles. You remember giggles. He used to work here all the time. Oh, and uh, half a cup of oil. Earl. Half a cup of Earl. This thing does have an awful lot in it. And, and considering that it only rises about this high, it's amazing. I think it's got too much in it. It's too heavy. But we'll see. A little bit of How oil. How you doing in there? Huh? And here comes the good part, ladies and gentlemen. Our, this is the Harvey Wallbanger part. If you actually made a Harvey Wallbanger, what's that? It's milk. Uh, you would put about a quarter of a cup of vodka. Whoa! And a quarter of a cup of Galliano. And hey, I got to tell you, Laban, this is homemade at my home, Galliano. Oh, no, I'm sure that's against the law. A little of that stuff. Do you have a, a brewery way. permit for that? And three quarters of a cup of orange juice. Three quarters of a cup. I'll put that in there. Well, why? Right. I don't know. I could be That's wrong. how you make Galliano. You make Galliano with about this much vodka, about this much orange juice, and and not Galliano, the Harvey Wallbanger. Oh, how do you make Galliano? I have no idea. I can't remember. I, I had the recipe once and it was so great I can't remember it anymore. So anyway. Looks to me like this stuff is melting, Bly. But what I was saying is the, is it really? Oh, it is not melting. It isn't melting. Is oh, it really melting? Yeah. You've thrown it? something in it while we no. weren't looking. Now we're mixing that all up. And we'll do that for about three or four minutes. This thing got another speed on it. Are you mixing it? it up or putting it down? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. This bowl really goes around real well, doesn't it? You would hardly notice my fingers turning this bowl. <laughs> this is a plastic bowl that did not come that's with this. That's a Dormeyer. I don't believe they make them anymore. So that It's a what? A Dormeyer. Well, that's easy for you to say. We're mixing that up real well. Now, what you got to do is take a bunt pan I beg your pardon. and grease it and flour it and get your oven up to 350 degrees. I thought you only used those things in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally speechless. 
I had something I was going to say and I lost it. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> so anyway, we'll continue mixing that for a little while. I think that's enough. I'm tired of it. So anyway, we now have to take a bunt pan, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that and I'm going to grease it up a little bit and flour it. And then we'll put that in there and stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes or until it's, it's tender to the touch. Now, when I come back a little bit later on, I'm going to do a nice Harvey Wallbanger orange glaze for on the real one, which I actually baked yesterday and brought with me to the studio today. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. Isn't it pretty? It's just lovely, full of loveliness. I think it, it's going to be a good cake. It smells good. So anyway, that's what I'll do when I come back, but that's all for right now. Laban, how is your uh, sugar? Uh, it's uh, caramelizing beautifully, Murgatroyd. Oh, you're right, it is. I well, mean, what I does that look swear. right down there? Does well, you're that... right, it does. Well, that's amazing. So, Gracie? Mm -hmm. Well, and it'll be a dark brown when it's all caramelized. So. Ooh, the boy is dangerous. I hope you didn't get any on me because it's all over you. <laughs> well, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Everyone I've ever seen lifts up this away, and this one aims right at you. And I have consequently gotten it all over Chef Uncle Lair. Huh. I am not impressed. I'm sorry. Neither are we. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing most of this cake at this point. Well, don't look at me. I got nothing else to do. Go ahead, John. Well, I'm just caramelizing. You know, my... <laughs> well, am I going to have to carry the rest of the show? Well, I got yeah, nothing to do. Yeah, as a matter do. of fact, no, my. I'll make my uh, glaze. My peanuts are, are nice and warm, and they've browned a little bit. No, well, no, 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 no. I, I, we won't go to the no, cook we sisters don't yet. We don't want to see the old. Matter of fact, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do an orange glaze. You start with a cup of confectioner sugar. No, I'll just do that. I've not done this before previously, so I'll just fake it. That's about a cup. And a half a teaspoon of grated orange rind. Where's my rinder? I have a little device at home that does this, but I forgot to bring it in with me. It's something that Dr. J gave me as a Christmas gift. It cost him 47 cents and it's the most expensive thing he ever gave me. But it is quite Until wonderful. this year. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and? Yep. Well, I've had flown in at enormous expense. Uh -huh. <laughs> the right arm of uh -oh. that statue from Tenement Square. <laughs> you know, the one How that goes, wonderful. Yeah. It's always anyway. so close. <laughs> Mr. Well, Johnson. I figured you could put it in your living room. I sure appreciate that. It would look good in there with the rest of that stuff. There we go. Well, that should be enough flavored up real good. It's always a good idea to reach up in there with your fingers and pull out. See that? If I hadn't done that, I'd, there'd been that much of it. I hadn't been in there. All that work for nothing. Now that is a little of the orange rind and a teaspoon of orange juice. It's not very much. Well, it's what you get for drinking all of it. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. I mean, I do love orange juice. Add two tablespoons of milk. <laughs> oh, it's it's already been pre-measured for me. Lovely Doris is back. Uh-huh, thank God. The lovely Doris is back, well, and she has pre-measured my milk. There will be a lot of people real excited about that. We'll get letters. And a tablespoon of vodka and a tablespoon of Galliano. Now, while we're doing this, we would like all of you at home to write down on your little pad the word watermelon, hmm? and then give us all of the other words that you can get out of watermelon using those letters, okay? So that's one of the games we play here at our Plasticware Park. Is this one of those Plasticware games? Yeah. Hmm. Now, Bly. Yeah? Ah, come here. What? I want you to look down in here. I can't believe, I did not know that you could melt sugar for a, with nothing in it. I really did. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's getting real gloppy. Yep. Hmm. Not to mention. <sighs> what can you do? Brown. And do caramel. we have a whisk over there? somewhere. Not only well, that. it's mighty whiskey, but I think Doris can find one. <laughs> well, a little whiskey would be real good right now. She's getting smart with me. I think I need a little more confectioner sugar uh -huh. because this is a little 
sour grape that you are. <laughs> well, it's the, the glaze is not as thick as I would like for it to be. Now I'm just whisking that up. Oh, total? Maybe we better see those old girls. Yeah, the bring them in. <laughs> I tell those old gals. I thought to we still had 20 porch. minutes to go. I'm having such a well, good time. They got some, another one of those little gadgets today. It's one that's got margarine in it and all that stuff. So. Uh, oh, do they really? Yeah. So uh, come on, are. girls, and tell these people out here something. Oh, stop playing with your beads. I got something to show you. Oh, all right. I wonder if you recognize what this thing is. Oh, I do. That's that part of the costume from the uh, 25th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty that you were, uh, you know, when you were Miss Liberty herself. No, no, you fool. This is a butter press. Oh. Yeah, you stick your butter down under there and press that down to put that pretty little design on it. Oh, I Real see. Real pretty. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Real dumb. And I don't know why you need it. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the Cook, Cook Sisters. sisters. Right, smart, right smart of uh, smoke coming off yep. that, Johnson. Well, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> I hope. Now it's off and I'm going to throw these, whew, these peanuts into it. Notice I was very good about Ooh, specifying wait. just exactly what. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't you want to dirty make a, dog. Uh, a All big right. thing out of it like uh, you did uh, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago and embarrass us terrible. I'll swear. Now, I've got to get a pan out the freezer. Well, while he's getting the pan out the freezer, oh, well, he's already done it, so never mind. Boom. All right, now this is this a cool pan. This is now? a buttered pan that is icy cold. And, you know, the nuts are all mixed up in here. Now we'll put that right there. Now we'll pour this out onto the pan. This is the exciting part. This is what separates the girls from the boys here. Oh, you better not say that. Well, yeah, you're right. I mean, this is what some heavy duty folks around here. And they're <laughs> the wimps. Very upset. Wimpettes. Oh, now you oh got how terrible it's done set up on him. <laughs> No, no. You, what see, a mess. No, you pull it around. No, you can't pull it around. It's done set up. Leave it alone. <laughs> what, are you rearranging them, yes. Lavis? No, I'd the, like for these nuts the to go over there. The recipe says that you use the big spoon and stretch and pull the candy into a Laven, thin sheet. I think sheet. it's a little late for stretching no, and pulling. No. I think your stretching and pulling days are over. He used to be so good at this. Huh. Used to be. I think I got too many nuts in this. What <laughs> I think I you did too. <laughs> well, it is real pretty. I will say that. Uh -huh. It's now, real. Let me scrape the rest of this sauce uh -huh. over here on it. Uh -huh. ah! Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that was very hot. Mm -hmm. Now I got my spoon over in it. Now, to clean your pan out, uh -huh. you have to put uh, water in it and boil it. So I'll do that. Larry, you go ahead. First of all, I think you ought to see this mess if you haven't seen it recently that Laban just did. It's an incredible mess, complete with the spoon still in it, stuck to it. Now, I have made a real fine glaze, and I just tasted it with my lips, and it's wonderful. It really is. This really is good. And, and you can change the consistency of it by adding as much confection or sugar as you need. Now, what we do is we take this glaze, and we just drizzle it over it. Doesn't that look pretty? It's got the little rind in there and everything. It's just lovely. And I will need a knife after all. She has fought me to this core on this thing, and I just Oops. remember what we yeah. need a knife for. It's almost, if you drop that on my foot, Johnson. Lousy, that the, I have just ruined myself on is every that, part of my body. <laughs> now, is that lovely? Now, Who tell me that doesn't look fine. like a picture on your television. Isn't that wonderful? What are you doing? I'm getting another <laughs> pot holder. Oh, there's somebody, somebody holding me up. I don't, I don't know what it is. Oh. Now, what are you doing? I'm cooling it damp and defrosting the refrigerator at the same time. Would you take this over and put it on the table ever so gently? My lovely Whoop. cake. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. Maybe we ought to look at the recipes while we're waiting around. 
If Johnson would be paying attention, he'd be telling you about the old-fashioned peanut brittle. Oh, yeah. Well, a <laughs> tablespoon of butter and margarine, seven and a quarter ounce can of salted peanuts, and two and a third cups of granulated sugar. Mmm. The Harvey Wallbanger cake, a package of yellow cake mix of your choice, a teaspoon of baking powder, a package of instant vanilla pudding, four eggs, half a cup of oil, a quarter cup of vodka, Quarter cup of Galliano and three fourths cup of uh, three fourths cup of orange juice. That makes your Harvey Wallbanger part. And then the orange glaze, which I put on it. By the way, you can use just plain old confectioner sugar if you don't want to go all this trouble. Just sprinkle it around on it. Or you can do the glaze: one cup of confectioner sugar, half a teaspoon of grated orange rind, one teaspoon of orange juice, and two tablespoons of milk, and a tablespoon of vodka, and a tablespoon of Galliano, which is your Harvey Wallbanger part of it. So uh, that's your cake. I mean, it's just wonderful. And I need it really to get is. a platter out. What are you from doing over, over here, I'm trying to get a platter from Doris. <laughs> trying to get some of his stuff lined up from Doris over here. Well, you know, you got to put this stuff on something, you know, when you get it down, because we got to break it up here. I am truly amazed that you can just take sugar and just put it on the stove and go at it. Do you have to be real careful and, and watch it very careful? I guess you can get it too hot real fast. Well, yeah. I guess I'll have to own up to it. Yeah, you have to be careful. You have to know what you're doing. But um, as long as you're patient and you start it on medium heat and keep it right there, it'll be fine. Oh, well, no, 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 she can't. Somebody was saying the witch. Somebody said the witch, but she can't come in today? Come here. What, is she, is she uh, what? Yeah, see, next week is the witch's birthday, the birthday of the witch. Hmm. And What uh, does it mean? So we're going to have a birthday party for the witch next week. And oh. I'm going to make a cake, and you're going to make uh, <clears throat> ice cream oh, next no. week. I forgot I volunteered for that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Am I going to make it from scratch? You're going to make it from scratch in an old freezer. And you know what? Ooh, it's been Our, years since I've done The chumps it. and chumpettes out here behind the cameras, <laughs> they're going to have to crank the cream. I don't know whether any, any, any of you people ever cranked a homemade ice cream? You, nobody? No one? Oh, Laban, they don't know what they're in for. Oh, good. What we do is we save the last 20 minutes or so for right. the step. Well, how's it look, John? Well, let's see if I can pry it up Oh, off of here. look at that. It's lovely. It looks just beautiful. Woo! Who well, said that we couldn't do it? A lot of nuts in that thing. Oh, <laughs> doesn't look like it's well, set. Well, it hasn't completely good, John. set yet. <laughs> But there's enough here for you to strangle on. That looks like some kind of a gnarly thing I saw in the woods the other day. Yeah, yeah oh, what were you doing in the woods? Lord, you need some scissors, Johnson, to cut all that? What? <laughs> well, I think there's enough here. You to were eat. so good at this first time you did it, but boy, I tell you, well, lost your touch. This is a different recipe. It just I... goes to show if you don't do brittle every day, it's just. <laughs> I can tell you the that his arteries have also gone brittle on him too, from judging from this. Oh, well that's coming up good now, Laban. Now, see, it's <laughs> it's got it together. Well, it anyway. comes right off of there. Look at that. <sighs> well, let's go over here and eat Maybe this Maybe a mallet would help. Uh-huh. Now, we're gonna go over here, and on our lovely table, we have <laughs> an assortment of plastic An wear. assortment of plastic wear. Perhaps I interested you in this fine little model. I think this Maybe one would this be one. good. This is this the one that Bly on wears head. over his head frequently. Uh, like this so that you sound like you're in a barrel. Oh no, this is terrible. All my drizzly stuff has gone down on the edge oh, and no. is ready to come right out. Well, I'm going to give you a little of this cake, this Harvey Wallbanger cake. Mm. The peanut brittle is delicious. I reckon so. It's 200% sugar. What wouldn't be? Well, I can think of several things. If you want to save a little time, just eat the sugar right out of the mm. box, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Well, this cake is definitely okay. Is it really? Mm -hmm. definitely. definitely okay. What does that mean? Well, it means it's good. Oh. Definitely okay. Here, have some brittle. Oh, let me have some of this brittle. Mm. Mm. Cake is good, it's moist. Just bite down on that stuff. Now you know it's good. Mm. That really is. It is. Mm -hmm. It really is. Excellent. Make this for for all your friends and give it to them. But only the ones that don't have dentures. If you've got dentures, forget <laughs> it. 
<laughs> and I mean, you know, we don't want to offend you or anything. Well, but, we better but, go. Yeah, yeah well, we got to go, but make the brittle, okay? And the cake's all right, too.